folks, welcome to this episode of Ed's Play EA UFC 2. This is your host, Edwin, aka Caveman, and uh, I was going to do a simulation of the Tony Ferguson Habib Nurmagomedov fight, but that fight fell through. Uh, Tony got injured. Um, then uh, Plan B was supposed to be John Jones versus Daniel Cormier, but uh, of course Cormier got hurt, so that fight's out. So, uh, fuck it, I'm decided to do a match that I, I'm quite interested in, which uh, hasn't been announced yet, but I assume will be announced soon, which is the uh, Waltzway title bout between Robbie Lawler and George Rush St. Pierre. Uh, I will be playing as, yeah, George, I haven't been, I haven't really been playing as George in this game, uh, it'll be pretty awesome, uh, let's change this to the MGM Grand, uh, title fight. All right, now let's uh, talk about this uh, match that should be interesting, just because of the fact that George St. Pierre has been on a very extensive layoff. I believe he the last time he fought was November of 2012, so a little over a three and a half year layoff for George St. Pierre. Um, uh, do I see him giving Lawler a fight? I do. I feel that uh, George St. Pierre is a workhorse, um, he has a very high fighting IQ. Uh, I, I believe he's going to transition back into the octagon the same way Dominic Cruz did, uh, without missing a beat. Um, and of course, there goes George Rush St. Pierre wearing his gi. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, uh, I wonder if he's going to be able to wear his gi now that the Reebok gear has been implemented. Uh, yeah, with the, with the new Reebok deal. Um, they're not allowed to wear their stuff anymore. They're they're, they're basically look like trucks, basically <laughs> trucks with like a Reebok logo on them. They they, they look like billboards. Um, but yeah, uh, back to the fight. Um, as far as I I see George St. Pierre winning this fight, uh, namely um, decision. Uh, Robert Lawler has a hell of a chin. <laughs> I don't see George St. Pierre ever like I I honestly I, I feel like George St. Pierre doesn't have the knockout power that the other. Uh, Walterweeds have like uh, Robert, no, not Robert Lawler, uh, Roy McDonald and uh, Carlos Condit. They both cracked uh, Robert Lawler and he just he kept fighting. Um, and uh, I see no difference as far as this fight. Um, the key as far as what Robert Lawler needs to do is that he has to connect. He has probably like the best, like the biggest power, um, the, the best knockout power after Johnny Hendricks, which. What happened to Hendricks? Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he got destroyed in his uh, last fight, in his uh, last bout when he fought um, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. But um, yeah, George St. Pierre, uh, he, he's pretty good. He has pretty good uh, movements. Uh, his takedown transitions, uh, he uh, transitions the, his uh, striking of his grappling very well. Um, I believe Barbalars probably won't be able to stop the takedowns. He, he might be able to stop the takedowns probably the first two or three rounds, but at the third round, he, I feel he's going to get very tired. And George St. Pierre, he has the cardio. He actually does uh, gymnastics on uh, the offseason when he's not fighting. So um, he's definitely going to have the cardio uh, advantage in this fight. Um, what else to cover about this fight? Um... Hmm, Robbie Lawler has a chin, knockout power, George St. Pierre has a high fight IQ, could go the distance. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to cover about this fight, other than uh, it should be intriguing just to see if St. Pierre can handle getting, because I feel that at least one point in this fight, uh, Robbie Lawler is going to connect on his uh, on that noggin of his. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how he uh, responds to that. Uh, he's just... The last time he was uh, rocked was against, actually his last fight against Johnny Hendricks. Actually, I believe he received more punishment in his, in his last three fights than he has in his whole career combined uh, when he fought uh, Hendricks, Diaz, and Condon. Uh, more with Hendricks than anybody else because Hendricks beat the shit out of him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's actually one intriguing one rematch I'm looking forward to. Like, There's so many rematches that are uh, occurring currently, which is uh, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Which, yeah, interesting, but uh, I, I really don't need to see that fight again. And uh, also the Frank Yeager, Jose Allo fight. Two guys that nobody gives a shit about, but um, I feel who are being completely overlooked. Frank Yeager is the one person I feel is completely has gotten the short end of the straw. 
in this in this whole UFC 200 um, ordeal. Um, damn, lost my train of thought. <laughs> Ugh, oh, fucking I hate rambling. Um, but uh, yep, here we have welterweight champion Robbie Lawler. Honestly, I'm wondering how long can he keep this up because he's been he's been in a lot of wars as of late. Like he's he's basically the type of guy that would take two punches just to land one. And uh, I wonder how that's gonna translate into future bouts. Um, obviously, with George Saint Pierre. Not gonna knock him out. I'm sure of it. I'm. Uh, whoa! Wow! They did not shake hands. What's going on? Is this, there like a beef that I'm not? I'm uh, oblivious to. All right. I'm, all right. I'm gonna shake hands now. All right. It's cool. And uh, onto the fight. Take down. Oh, okay. I did not expect that. Why was all of stuffing my goddamn takedowns? That is the wonder. Come on. Get that tight clinch hand. Knee. Knee to the torso. Nate. And, uh, alright, there you go. Superman punch! Bam, 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 Mario Yamazaki. <laughs> I wish it was like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, what, uh, what would you call it, like a glitch or something that you could implement, like, have Mario Yam uh, Yamazaki as a uh, Mario from, like, Super Mario Brothers, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> But of course, EA, eh, it's in the game, so you know, can't really fuck around with their software. Um, there you go, off the wall, mother. Oh shit, Robbie Lawler gets taken down. Let's posture up now. Posture up now, George St. Pierre. Got t posture up. Now, rain. Damn it. Let me posture up, Robbie Long. I want to posture. Posture up! Let me posture! <laughs> Alright, this is getting repetitive. I'm gonna get up. Get up, yeah. Get up. There you go. And of course, St. Peter has no stamina whatsoever. Oh, there you go. A kick to the head. Another kick to the head, which is really connected. Damn it. Huh. No, no, don't you dare. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna take down. Put a half guard, full mount, a full guard, I mean. I gotta go to the back side. Oh, damn it. Just fucking. There you go, sink. Fuck. There you go. Tag him, hit him in the back of the head, referee won't do shit, man. He's. This is a video game referee, doesn't care. Full guard. Get up already, god damn it. Ugh, fuck. The referee is probably like, I see, see the thing is that I actually muted the entire, um, so I have no idea how, like, the uh, audience is reacting to this whole grappling aspect of the fight. They're probably booing the shit out there, though. Nice spinning heel kick by St. Pierre. And uh, then go for their tank down. That's where I'm winning points, motherfucker. Give me that, give me that fucking decision. Uh, posture up, man. Damn it, punch him. God damn it, Saint Pierre is like not even doesn't want any. What the fuck? All right, wait, is that the end of the first round already? Huh. All right. That was a quick round. Didn't feel as long as it should have been. Yeah. Alright, here you go. Take my hand. Uh, that being said, uh, the, 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 the uh, UFC 200 card looks pretty sick, man, I, I must say. Um, like, uh, they have uh, Bronson versus Mosasi. They have Velasquez versus Travis Brown. Uh, they just announced today Misha Tate. Oh, okay. Uh, fucking Robbie Lawler trying to show off, trying to get the, the crowd back on his side. But since George St. Pierre we're talking about, he's like loved by everybody. He's Canadian. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> oh shit. He's rocked. He's rocked. Damn. No, don't you dare take me down, Robbie Lawler! God damn you! Damn you, Robbie Lawler! <laughs> Ugh, fuck. 
Uh, go to the back side. Back mount. Yeah, man, there you go. Full mount. There you go. Rain punches. Rain punches on his ass. Rain them. <laughs> I'm making it rain punches. Just like Lil Weezy. Make it rain on them hoes. Or make it rain on Robin Lawler. Dude, like, save your stem. God damn, I can barely do anything. I can. Oh, holy shit, man. Because I just. There he goes. Alright, bro, I just. There you go, alright, cool. It sucks that for some reason, like, well, one thing I liked about the THQ, alright, he's trying to freaking be all fancy and shit. He's trying to apply the pressure on me, but, you know, I'm not a sucker. Oh, alright, whatever, it doesn't get it. Right, it doesn't fade me, Robert Lord. I'm gonna talk to the audience now. I'm not gonna fight it. Yeah, fuck! That hurt. Um. Yeah, so as I was saying, the, the one of the aspects I liked about THQ is that when you take your opponent down, you can actually you actually have the option of actually going up. You don't have to do this fucking bullshit. I'm gonna pull the L walks into the upper right corner or whatever and like wait for the yellow circle to complete. Fucking uh, hell. There's a little flying head kick. Well, not a flying head kick, but head kick. And that's a name to go. There you go! Fuck! Shit! <laughs> Fuck, man. But, yep, this game is accurate. Robbie Lawler doesn't have a chin like that. He definitely takes shots like that. But, um, as. Actually, uh, do I take. Do I, let me see. Do I see this fight taking place 200? Currently, no, because they currently have three title fights. One of them, of course, being a fake title fight. Interim title. Even though the interim title, I mean, the featherweight champion is fighting in the same goddamn card. Uh, even interim title. A fake championship. For, uh, you know, Frank Yeager and Jose Aldo just little bitch. You know, they both have gone on to say that that belt means nothing, so uh, there's like really not even a point of actually having that be a, uh, a five round fight. If anything, it, it's probably more beneficial for um, Frank Yeager if the fight was five rounds. I mean, uh, more beneficial for Jose Aldo if the fight was three rounds, just because Jose Aldo is like a three round fighter, he's not a five round fighter. If you see his past performances, it's only during the end of the fight that he actually starts like gassing out and starts getting his ass kicked. I haven't seen the the uh, vicious WBC Jose Aldo in such a long time, and by vicious I mean the guy who knocked Cub Swanson out in like 10 seconds, um, and uh, the guy who beat, who crushed uh, Uriah Faber's like knees to, to oblivion for five rounds. <sighs> Oh my motherfucker! Shit! Shit! Survive! Survive! Sur oh, what the hell? Holy shit! It is. Oh, okay. Robbie Lawler wins this match. Like, George like, I cannot believe this. <laughs> Referee's like, oh, I, I had to stop the fight. I'm sorry, George. Wait. No replay? What's it? That didn't press any buttons. Come on, where's the replay? See? I smell collusion, man! The UFC wanted George St. Pierre to lose that fight. I smell... I... Collusion. At its finest. Fucking Dana White. Hello, Bobby Long, I love George St. Pierre. Fuck George St. Pierre. He, he left us three years ago. Fuck him. Nah. Regardless, Bobby Lawler is an awesome fighter. Wish him the best. Uh, but as far as the upcoming battle between St. Pierre goes... He's gonna lose. I see him losing. I see him losing. Actually, I feel he, should, she, he shouldn't be even be the welterweight champion right now. I, I felt uh, Carlos Conde clearly won the, their uh, fight uh, in this uh, past January. Um, but whatever. I guess I'll talk about Carlos Conde and other fighters in future videos. Uh, well, that's about that about does it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like, subscribe, do all that hot garbage, um, and I will see you next week, folks. Peace.